Hey guys, what's going on? Today I have an episode on my server again. Um, I am going to teach you how to use World Edit the basics. So um, I'm just going to use this flat surface here as an example. So the first thing you do, um, press T and slash slash wand. This is your magic wand and you will use this to select your positions. Um, you, there are also other ways to select positions but this is the most efficient way I guess but there are other cir circumstances where um, other com commands will be necessary. So for the wand you left click to select the first position and right click to select the second position. So if I type, so now I have a region selected and if I type slash slash set, um, set is basically it will make your region to the block that you're gonna set it to. So if I type set one, one is stone. So, look, the region I selected just turned into stone. And so if I say set 3, um, 3 is just dirt, so it will turn into dirt. And if I say set um, 4, it will turn into cobblestone. And set 5 is wooden planks, and so on and so forth. So um this is just the set part and just to teach you another way to um set your positions if you don't want to use the wand um type get on the block you want to set the position to um so type position 1 um p o s 1 so this will set the block you're standing on to position 1 and if you stand to another place and then type position POS2 it will set the block you are standing on to position 2 so if you go set 5 um, it will be like that because it's the block you're standing on so it's going to be above the surface so if you want it, want it to be below you either use your wand or you use another way so this is a this is another way to do it. Slash slash, just point at the block and then slash slash H P O S. So this will select, sorry, H P O S 1, sorry. So this will select the block you're pointing to first position if it's H P O S 1. So if you, if you type H P O S 2, it will select that block to position 2. So if I set 5 it will be underground because that was the block I was pointing to. So that's basically three ways to select your positions and slash slash set is to set your region to whatever block you want it to be. So let's move on to the next command. The next command will be expand. So you wanna, let's say you selected this region and you want it to, you can't, you want it to go up, but, um, you, there's, there are no, no blocks here. Oh, I can't say, say stuff. So, instead of going like that, and then selecting, like, position 2 and then position 1 to select the whole thing, you can just, let me just get rid of this. Um, select the region, the bottom region first, and then you type slash slash expand, and then how much you want to expand. So let's say three blocks up. So it's expand space three space up, and you type U for up. You can still type up, but I go with U. So it just expanded, created an invisible region, three blocks up. 
So if I say set three, it will turn like that, one, two, three, into dirt. So that's the way you wanna, if you wanna make it like super high. And then let's say you did it wrong and you wanna get rid of this. Sorry about that. So let's do slash slash undo and you will get rid of what you just did. So if you say, um, no, I didn't want to undo that. You just go like redo. Okay, so let's say you created this thing and you want to copy it. Um, so you go like, so you select your region first. Um, I would say select the region first. Okay, so then now if you go like slash slash copy it will copy the whole thing um and then if you move here slash slash paste it will paste the whole thing yes um it will paste according like in relation to the position you were copying it in so if you're standing here, and then if you copy it, let's say paste, um, it will paste it to the region, like I was copying it, copying it right here. So when I paste it, it will be like right here, um, because it was like this when I copied, copied it, so it has to be in re relationship to what you the position you were copying it it copying it in that was hard to say sorry about that okay so let's just undo all of this make it nice so those are the commands you just learned expand set position and the next the next thing you want to learn is contract so let's say I selected this region and I wanted to um, let's say no let's not do contract let's do move it's probably the most useful for me okay so if you move I want let's say I want to move my region up so move slash slash move space to I want to move it two up and then space U. So which direction? So um, I, I just move, moved it two up and let's just undo that. If I wanted to move it to like let's say forward, um, I will do, um, let's see where, the, so the sun is setting west and I want to go, I want it to go that direction. So the opposite of west is east. So I type move to east, and it will move to east. So you basically have to see where the sun is first to get a sense of the direction. Um, okay, so let's just undo that. And now, so I want to move it to up. And let's say, so I moved it to up, but my region is still down there. So Let's see what happens if I move it one down. It, it doesn't move that down, it moves the original region down. So let's just undo that. Let's say I want to move this again. So I contract. I move the whole, the select region up to. Like the whole region up. So now I created, created the invisible region. Like it selects these blocks up here. Um, so if I say move to up again, it will move that up. So hope you get what I'm talking about. Um, so contract is basically just moving the blocks in the, like move the whole selected region into two different directions. So. Now my region is, I moved that up here, so it's like air right now. 
Right, so that's basically what all the commands I'm gonna show you today. This is only episode one, and I hope you practiced all of that. Um, set regions and positions, contract, expand, and move. So this is basically it. I hope you find this tutorial um, instructive and easy to follow. Ask me if you have any questions and I will have more of world edit and world guard tutorials up soon. Subscribe for more and see you guys next time.